Hi! Hope you're having a happy new year. How are those resolutions coming along? Last week, I told you about my resolution to become a freediving instructor. But in this vlog, I'm going to tell you about how to save up to $10,000 on a professional freediving or scuba diving education. Yes, I am wearing a lemur onesie. One, because it's very cold in the Pacific Northwest. Two, because I'm getting ready to commune with my lemur family in the Philippines. And three, because onesies are awesome! And I wear this thing almost everywhere. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. How to save thousands of dollars on a diving education and possibly forge a path to a new and exciting career. Let's dive into scuba first. You like what I did there? <laughs> diving. Eh. Last year I became a paddy dive master and this year I'm training to be an SSI free diving instructor. For those not super familiar with diving, a dive master certification is the first professional certification where you can actually get paid to go diving. Not only did I get to save money, but I also got to make some money working as a diver and as a fire dancer. Okay, so how did I do this? Do you want me to let you in on a secret? You gotta promise not to tell anybody. Actually, you should tell everybody. Anybody who wants to get into diving should know this secret. Well, you see, dive shops need help running their diving operations, and they actually get to save money by training divers to become dive professionals and work for them. In exchange for gear rental, dive education, and transport to and from the dive sites, divers will usually work for free for the dive shops for about three to three and a half months. It's kind of a win-win situation for everybody. In addition to all of this awesome diving education, you get to learn the inner workings of a dive shop. You get to be part of the local culture for several months, and you get to make some really awesome friendships along the way. Now the fun isn't just limited to people with tanks and regulators. Free diving shops are looking for interns as well. In about three months, you can go from having no experience to becoming an SSI or ADA instructor, which is what I'm going to be doing. Another interesting fact, you can get trained to teach people how to be mermaids. Oh my God, I'm a mermaid. I love bubbles. Yes, SSI actually has mermaid courses, but they probably don't look like that. But I sure wish they did. An alternative route that may seem especially intriguing for marine biology students or those trying to get into conservation is looking into diving related nonprofits. In exchange for your work as a volunteer, some NGOs will actually provide you certification so you can do your volunteer work underwater. I'll go more into diving related nonprofits in another episode. The time has come for you to do your own research, but luckily, I'm here to help. Here are some points to consider. Many of these internships are located in places like the Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand, and Egypt, so start your search there. Do a Google search for scuba or freediving internships, or Google dive shops in an area that you'd be interested in going to. If a dive shop does offer a diving internship, I have a few questions in the discussion below to help you compare and contrast some of the different dive shop program offerings. I also have a few questions that you can ask yourself to help with the planning process and to see if it's something that you're ready for. Check them out below. So, what do you think? Are you interested in exploring a career in diving? If you like this video, please follow my YouTube channel and Instagram for more content like this. For the dive masters and dive instructors who have gone this route, where did you do your internships and do you have some insights to share? If you do, please post them in the comments below. Please check back next week because I'm going to be going into my planning process and packing list for my diving internship in the Philippines. Until next week, keep swimming!